Hello guys and girls, bringing you another video of the series of vids from this game, from Mountain Blade Warband. Uh, the game I brought uh, the first, my first video of uh, a couple of uh, a couple of weeks ago, and a game I have grown to like in the past period. And we're we're joining at a point at uh, at actually at the thick of the action, at the point when I got declared, uh, I got uh, awarded the creation on, upon. By, from these guys, from the Serenade Sultanate, so basically this is the, um, the yellow faction, it's the Muslim oriental type of faction in this game, so Egypt, Turkey, Ottomans, uh, more, more Egypt-like uh, kind of faction. They have the, 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 the best unit they have is called the Mamelukes, by the way, so that's really... Um, that is really in line with uh, with the Egyptians in real life, with medieval Egyptians. And what I'm going to do is, because I got uh, war declared on them, I'm going to march uh, in their territory. And I was thinking about marching here uh, from the back door, let's say. But I'm gonna do it from I'm gonna do it head on because I know that this city is quite uh, wealthy, and I want to take it. But first, I want to. Um, I want to secure that I have good guys, good uh, um, soldiers with me to to take on the fight. So let's upgrade everything we can upgrade. I'm gonna need more infantry. Also, sharpshooters, and there they're gonna do me good. As you can see, I have some mercenaries, but most of my guys are. Swedish troops and uh, so Swedish troops and Rodak troops. So the Portugal, uh, the Portugal, the orange guys and the and the green guys and these guys have the Basque Cav. This is the uh, the knight heavy faction. So these are like the I don't know medieval Roman Empire of France and these guys are like the Italian cities. They have uh, great spear units. And they're excellent at, uh, at defense. They have the and, and have the best, absolutely best crossbowmen. So, I'm recruiting guys from these two, from villages, from these two factions that originally at the beginning of the game uh, belonged to these two factions, and b building a rooster around them. And also mix things up with some uh, horse archers from here, from the Kyrgyz Khanate, just just for flavor, flavor basically. And I'm going to uh, assemble my army here at the gate of. Uh, of uh, this mountain pass, where ah, oh, god damn it, they're already starting to lay waste on my on my lands. So I'm going to assemble my army here because at the same time I'm king and marshal of my of my kingdom. So that means I am the. I hate these guys. I hate them. I hate them. They didn't have really a reason to to declare on me, but here are my guys. Ooh. And they need help. Let's check out what's happening here. Um, ooh, a lot of these guys. A lot of them against so few of me. And they have veteran footmen, footmen recruits, mamelukes, infantry archers. Well, should I do it? Should I join? How many do I have? I have 100 and they have 300 here. Um, I need I need a little bit of help, I guess. I'm gonna okay, yeah. Together we can do this. Together, so the um, oh by the way, who do you think? Uh huh. You support yourself. Good. As you can see, this is a guy that's um, under my that's uh, um, under my command. So this is a uh, part of my nobility, the nobility of my kingdom. Uh, but as you can see, the relation with him is pretty poor because he belonged previously, I think, to the kingdom of. Um, uh, Frodox and I kicked his butt in a couple of battles, so he doesn't like me. He hasn't he hasn't gotten any peeps, any castles or uh, or uh, any estate under my in my kingdom. So that's why he doesn't like me. But uh, I don't care at the moment. Uh, he's going to help me in this battle, and I'm going to help uh, my guy because he basically he needs a lot of help. Okay, so this is the fun part of this game. This is the battle. This is uh, where I command my badass guy that you uh, that you got to see in the previous vid, but this time uh, you're gonna see my guy mounted 
in a knightly, in a knightly style, in a knightly fashion, and this beautiful um, desert landscape, as you can see. And I'm just going to charge the heck out of these guys, out of my enemies. Um, sadly, uh, I suck at this game, as I think I have already previously stated. Uh, you can, uh, you can actually uh, command your troops, uh, not in a medieval uh, war style. Yeah, eat, savior, and eat. Um, but you can still command them, and uh, basically good players, I guess, could uh, could be much more uh, efficient with these the commanding uh, army in this game. But I am doing fine. I am doing okay. As you can see, I'm heavily armored. Unlike my desert opponents, are much more lighter troops, but that won't help them even though this is, this is desert. I don't think elements like uh, fatigue and stuff like that play a role in, uh, in this game. It's not as deep as, as medieval, definitely. But it's really fun, as you can see. And actually, I'm gonna just stop now. Uh, Commenting because there's not a lot you can comment uh, in, a, in a battle like this. I'm just gonna let you enjoy this one as I do my thing, as I do it in a really, really bad manner, as any decent player could witness. Okay, so just enjoy. I guess all one guy left, at least one guy that I can see, yep! Oh my god, celebrating that sign that I just won this battle. And I won it, and, and this battle was won with no less thanks to my skill. was to be a bloody battle. As you can see they lost 104 guys. Wow, 104 as opposed to my 2 kills and from my allies 5. Wow, that, that must suck for the Sarnian Sultanate. And that's not all. We have another battle going on. Again, at the same setting. I, I'm gonna try to control my guys. Follow me. Okay, just follow me. I don't know why I did this. I don't know if it's like the smartest thing to do in a situation like this, but who cares? Ah, I didn't. I missed this time. The previous time I managed to, to like, uh, uh, stuck a lance uh, into one of the interface of one of the guys from a certain full time. This time I, didn't. I wasn't able to do this, so I didn't properly charge. And it's a thing to do in this game because you manually steer your uh, lines. Uh, it's level, but I suck. But again, enjoy the battle.
que va, que quedo. Are they really trying to hit him in the rocks? God, I think There goes Honkin. He steal you rock going to the Good equipment, and I have put my guy quite well until now. So that's why he rocks. Again, don't think it's because of his skills. It's because he's on a great horse, he wears great armor, and wields a great sword. And a great lance. So, again, I lost a knight. God, I hate one of those knights. I like the other ones. Anything these guys lost 6 to 1. 60 guys. 60 guys. Now I have 95 against their 173. Hmm. I guess in two more charges I can get these guys. Let's try and get a proper charge now. Now I'm just going to do a charge. As you can see, the skirmishers uh, are up front because they are much faster than these knights. I will have a knight, logically. And up that hill, I'm relatively sure I cannot get a good charge. Yeah, my guys have to drop the lance. I'm just going to go sword. Oh god, they're throwing stones at me, it's just like humiliating. Ah! Here we have to get shoes. Three of the uh, their uh, nobles, so three less generals, three less units, uh, three less stacks to worry about when uh, when I'm going to march in their territory, which is always a good thing. But they are strong; they have a lot of guys, so it's going to be a thing to war. Because 
they have uh, numerically they can come on. Ah, I didn't do it. But I broke the shield and the charge at least. Jamayet Castle, which is the gateway towards uh, the Luna, uh, one of the cities of the Sardis. So, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, take care.